you want to see what we do on Saturdays, stay tuned. <laughs> Where are we going? <clears throat> Dugout's place. I guess we gotta go prepare for a liquidation sale. Uh you'll see. <laughs> Look at him. Hey Dado! Don't pull a Cadillac stunt. <laughs> hey uh the deer. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> We're stuck. <laughs> Stupid traction control. Maybe Douglas. This doesn't look quite safe. Yeah, I'm working on that. There's <laughs> trouble there. And why does it look like that's the way it is on this whole building here? Uh, I've got eat. Yeah, just don't go sticking your tongue on it. George, back to your house. <laughs> this is all your crap. That furniture. Uh, that is all your wonderful handmade from high school crap that you tried to pawn off on me. The workmanship is unbelievable. Unbelievably great. Yeah, anyone need a quilt rack? That was special made for my wife. Heavy duty reinforced for two small boys that like to climb on stuff. See that big dowel <laughs> thickness. Yeah. Couldn't break it. Can't. Yeah. Do we want to say what we're doing here? What are you doing here, Douglas? Realignment sale. <laughs> Realignment. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the fad. We're liquidating some equipment here. Some sleds. Well, there's another wonderful piece of furniture Douglas made. You see that hideous desk over there? See how the mildew is growing on them? <laughs> I don't know where to start. Maybe with the openers. Why don't the opener work no more? That's where I'm starting. He's opened the other door. <laughs> okay, it's not the battery. Now, how about a for sale 1999 Dodge? Dodge. <laughs> She's a good one. She's pretty good, not much rust. How about that red lawnmower? Get rid of that too. <laughs> they weren't this antique. The key to being a good camera woman mm -hmm. is not to talk behind the camera. You see, that's not the way I roll though. I'm a commentary. No one yeah, wants to hear you breathing behind the camera. The lights are still on. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a hundred Can I get two and a quarter? Two and a quarter. Can I get two and a quarter? Were you having another episode? <laughs> Stand back. Little Bob's coming to life. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Gummified. How do you do undo that? Take carburetors off, lube and clean. Oh, oh. We acquired all these snowmobiles back when I was what, 14, 13, 12, something like that. Yep. And we'd all get them all going and ride the heck out of them. But now for the last five years or more, 10, we get two, three hey! of them out. There she goes. We're good. Two, two or three of them out. And uh, then the rest, some of these haven't literally ran for like six years. So it's time to sell and maybe get him a nice. pro R. Or else I could just get a wheelchair. <laughs> Powered one. Come on, Douglas. Can I already feel the spine adjustment? You coming? can do it! <sighs> Don't yeah. you think that the fuel should get to the carburetors for a little bit first? We should be take the plugs out and give her some. Stand back! Give her some! He's hot Just it. a little bit, not too much. Remember when we lit my glove on fire when, the, when we were ethering it and the uh, exhaust backfired, caught my glove on fire. I was running around trying to put my glove out. You're gonna do it? I don't know. Just so we're all clear here. This is not a safe way of doing things. Highly advise not just squirting different chemicals 
into an engine to make it start. It's all for sale. These, <laughs> these two are roughnecks. It's not starting. We're not roughnecks. We're pretty easy on stuff, actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm waiting for it to literally blow my hair off. This don't start stuff unless you blow it right in. Remember that time you made me buy that cheap piece of Menard socket set thing? And, well, I found the ratchet back at the bottom of Artichoke Lake. <laughs> Along with that socket, right? Along with this socket. It's a little bit rusty there. It laid under there for a year. <laughs> and I was so literally. happy. Why are you smelling things? There's no gas in there. But it's awfully moist. When I had my big magnet dragging the bottom of Get the Get some gas in there. And I found it. It come on the magnet up out of the water like this. I thought, <laughs> my gosh, it's a miracle. And then the guts are gone. It was short lived. Oh, I have a bad back, so. Bad back from these right here. That's what. You're not going to pour some gas in there? Not like that, you dipstick. <laughs> also, if you haven't noticed Doug's obsession with diamond plate in the shop, it continues at his house. These were all built by. Me. The, was it you? It was a group effort. It was both of us. He was slave labor. <laughs> Okay, now when you catch all of this fuel, I'm going to pour on you. Stupid. Don't even show nobody this. <laughs> this is not going to You ready? This <laughs> is so dumb. Yeah. There we go. We barely spilled thirty. A kitten couldn't even get full off of that little bit. <laughs> you can't put so much in there. Oh, yeah, I got a little in there. We don't have to worry about putting too much in there, it looks like. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I shake so bad. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That was that's too much. I think I'm going to put a disclaimer on this video. Do not do what we do. I yeah, she called us roughnecks. Not a roughneck. I know a few roughnecks. It's <laughs> not a good thing. Yeah, I know a guy that likes to rip the steering wheels off. That was not a roughneck. Read the comments on that video if people think you're a roughneck. Well, I'd like to see them in the situation that we were in. I would agree so with that. Thank you. One never knows until it's him faced with the problem. Yeah, I don't remember it. We're running so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> wants to. Make you feel seeing your little bird fly again. Good. That's and what it. were they? Well, it wasn't good. It asked if I was 18, and I <laughs> didn't know what that meant, so I said yes. And and then you saw. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it before. More hookers, huh? Seemed like it. <laughs> I think they were performance stars. His know eyes why. got pretty big across the table. What? What's going on? What do they get out of that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hit it. Get it. I can't believe it. Why aren't you pumping it? Well, I didn't think it would go already.
Type in XC and it put in triple X's. <laughs> <laughs> that could be triple. <laughs> Look at that purple triple. Say that ten times in a row. Purple triple. Sounds like you're saying a purple nipple. Purple triple. Purple triple tri purple triple nipple. <laughs> Holy criminy! <laughs> okay, just a second now. That's too fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, don't now. Yep. All right, I don't know what that's for. And we wonder why it smells like gas up here. I thought you had that, what's that disease called? Ryanitis. <laughs> oh, that was back in the hog days. Those were some good times when you get the, we used to call them rhinos. They could uh, smell around corners. If they really had a bad, their nose went crooked. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to actually, you actually have to see it to believe it. Is that a Larson name or is that a technical Google no, term? No, it's rhinitis. <laughs> the uh, deterioration of the bone in the nose. Most of the time the whole nose just shrunk up and they ran around sneezing and snot flying and it was horrible. By the way, we do not, oh, there is no more hogs on the farm. When was the last time you had hogs, Douglas? Oh, eight. That was the ending of the... So, there is no livestock on the farm. The barns are still there, but they are not in use. We were fair to finish. And yep. now, anyone that has livestock, hats off to you. That's yep. true. Those were some tough, tough days. Side of the regulator. Why does that matter which side of the thing it gets bolted to? Flaris, the way out. I guess it's, it's the way out. It's the way out, all right. So although um, we are talking about everything being for sale, obviously when this is on YouTube, most of it probably will already be gone. And it would be very difficult to sell things off of YouTube in our opinion. I wouldn't know why people wouldn't drive from California to get some snowmobiles. They, exactly. They use them every other day out there. I so bet. this is just a lifestyle for fun, our Saturday, not a selling everything to every Tom, Dick, and Harry from YouTube. Right, Doug? Not a Dick Harry. I know Harry. a Tom. Thomas. Tom, I know a Tom, but... Your neighbor's back. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been a great watchdog. That fell right to the bottom of the engine compartment. Oh, of course. Two ways of putting it on, and I put it on backwards from what the picture is showing. You know, it's a tactic muffler. There. This is called the pliers. Yeah, everyone is so don't know what a pliers is. Turn around, Douglas. Let's see your pliers. You mean the only piece of equipment yeah, there you, go. you have to have plier. Who wouldn't know it's what a, a plier is? It's a hammer. It's a red rabbit. I've killed rabbits with it before. <laughs> yeah, he has. Nailed that. <laughs> yeah, he did. Unbelievable shot. Oh boy. Get the magnet. Oh, for Pete's <laughs> What kind of trouble? <laughs> oh, this ain't no camera talk. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to the house. <laughs> You're gonna be running. It might pass. <laughs> oh. Did you see that? Wow, that, that was, was fancy. Lucky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put one bulb in to see if it blows up and not everyone. 
Like you did the last time. the bulbs time. are. I'll be bit. back in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> nature is calling. Mm, I might have to use the na nature's calling. Nature's calling. Oh dear lord. When one goes, they gotta go together and hold hands or something? No, men don't do that like women. <laughs> I think it worked. I think it's safe to put the rest of the bulbs in now. Remember what I said about us not being roughnecks? I still plead that we aren't, but uh, said table here broke, hood flew down towards the ground, and it was like new. So besides the hood, it's not running right. I think it's this carb because we pulled the spark plug wires off and it died when you pull these two off. But it ran the same when you pulled this one off, which means this cylinder is not firing correctly. So I'm gonna do a quick carb job on that one. It's actually the devil, the devil's little carpet here. You missed it about five minutes ago. I had it on and found out it was on backwards. <laughs> what kind of... I thought he told me to put the handles on first. Didn't he? Look at that stiffly little neck that's wiggling back and forth. Yeah, let's see. Come on. You always ride the struggle bus this hard? <laughs> I've done a whole carburetor job while I figure out how to put this on. Feeling loopy in the head. Yeah, it's because it smells so bad the in here. The are just almost overpowering. Discounted price on this one because rough neck. <laughs> broke the cable. Oh, I didn't break it, it just didn't. Cable way. broke, hood went flying down. Oh yeah, that there's, that looks right. There's a discount here now, so Word work it was nice. Recalled. Good thing it wasn't recorded then, it would have just been one big bleep. Pretty much. I don't know how this happens, but I popped a blood vessel in my thumb from doing absolutely nothing. You see that big blue vein? It's huge. It's all swollen. Can barely straighten it anymore. She's never been hurt before in her life. Sorry to sit and hold the camera. All right. They're all sitting so pretty. This one is discounted for the seat. This one is discounted for the brokenness that happened today from this poncho. And this one is full price. We got a hot dinger right here. Oh, just kidding. We got another split seat. Package on them all to go. All to go for 3000 yeah. All to go. Hey. <laughs> What's that there? Oh, well, it's supposed to be an air filter. That's Where's that? Disgusting. Would you like to share with the class what you're doing? Old trick. When your snow pants are so bad. I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> and wore out. <laughs> and you're too tight to buy new ones. You get a gross garbage bag. Yeah. And you just cut little leg holes. Yeah. I suppose the pants would work too, but I can't imagine how expensive they'd be. There. Alright, do a spin for for the world here. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. <laughs> Chad is a proud son right now. I think 92, I paid 200 bucks for these darn pat bibs. In 92. Oh, they were great. Do you realize that's 28 years ago? Yeah, many miles on these. Alright, I gotta go suit up now. We're going out beeling, as I say, which Chet hates. <laughs> We're going beeling. Small on you. They're a little short. Well, it's only been six years since I've gotten them. They're nice, though. I have a matching jacket, too. <laughs> I think we should uh, go to the mountains with Duggo. Duggo would die in the mountains. <laughs> I pass. <laughs> yeah, he would no, die. Unless I stay on the trail. Trail is so whooped out you can't even ride it. I was very disappointed in the trails when I was out there. I'll go 10 miles north. Yeah, so we're gonna go for a rip, so see you later.
say as an outro? Do you have chips or crackers with salsa? <laughs> hey, Dad, look. Pro R Rush 800 for sale. Should we buy one? 500? 5,000? We... Let's buy it tomorrow. We're going to go. Sell all mine yeah. to buy one back. I don't like sunlit. Well, you, you'll have to taboo it some. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I imagine. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our crazy life and day. Don't contact me about the snowmobiles. Half of them are already sold. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like.